Salutations friends, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be another fragrance review and it's going to be on the fragrance from Valentino um, called Donna. So Donna Valentino is the review today. This is a feminine fragrance um, and I feel like it's very underappreciated so I decided to give it some love. So if you'd like to know what I think about Donna, then keep watching. <laughs> This fragrance was released in 2015 and I don't see a lot of people talking about it. I mean, it is talked about, it is mentioned, but I don't I don't think it's one of the underappreciated beauties that is out there that just people don't know about. Um, the top notes of this are bergamot, the heart notes are iris and rose, base notes are leather, patchouli, and vanilla. I just wanted to give you the quick notes and let you know what I think. Um, because this fragrance is one of those fragrances that was a love at first sniff for me. I initially was walking with my husband through the mall and I have we have like a rule that I won't buy or get sucked into a fragrance counter if I'm with him. He's very respectful of my hobby and my interests but when we're spending time together since he doesn't like perfumes I try to respect our time together and not sit in front of a fragrance counter for like two hours. So we were walking by and one of the fragrance women gives me a sample like on a card and I always take them because I love it. And my husband's looking at me like, ugh. And I grab it and I go like this just as small as I'm walking by. And I like stopped. And I looked. She kind of saw me and I was like, what is this? And she's like, Donna. And she like pointed to this beautiful bottle. And I was like, I gotta, I gotta go. And she's like, let me get you a sample. So she gave me a little little sample and I took it. And my husband, you know, we walked around and I just kept smelling the strip. And when I got home and my fragrance had worn away and I sprayed it on my skin and it sung even better than it did on the card. And it was pretty much a love at first sniff. It is just a beautiful fragrance. And it took me a few months to finally just buy a bottle because it was on my must buy list for a long time. I just never got around to purchasing it. I go to places where I thought they'd have it and they didn't have it. So finally I bit the bullet and I went out specifically to get this fragrance. And I got the bottle um, 1.7 ounces, mostly because I wasn't sure if I was going to wear this like frequently because I feel like this is going to be more of a spring fragrance and I have a lot of other spring fragrances I like to wear um, but I'm kind of wishing I'd gotten the bigger bottle of this. So let's get into how it wears on the skin, longevity, and This projection. is a beautiful sparkling fragrance. It really is gorgeous. The bergamot in here really brightens it up but the iris and the rose with the vanilla is just beautiful. It's ultra feminine but I think this is one of the fragrances because of the leather that makes this one of those like ultra feminine fragrances that could be unisex if you guys like to wear ultra feminine fragrances. If the guys out there like ultra feminine fragrances, I feel like this one would be perfect for you. Now, as you guys know, whenever I talk about masculine fragrances, men wearing fragrances, women wearing fragrances, using sex, it's specifically how it is marketed. Generally, feminine fragrances are marketed and composed in a certain way. Unisex fragrances are composed in a certain way and masculine fragrances are composed in a certain way. So this is composed in a very ultra feminine way, but I do feel like this would be beautiful on everybody. The leather in this is, I think, what really makes this sing on my skin because the in initial opening is very much like a sparkly, sweet, kind of fruity, floral, just bouquet. But as it starts to dry down on your skin, you get this leather that just sits underneath everything and kind of grounds it and just makes it really, really beautiful and unique while still being very easy to wear. This is in my grab and go fragrance area because it is so easy to wear and very universal. You can pretty much wear this wherever, whenever, doesn't matter. I think this would be beautiful for casual occasions, for even more formal occasions. Um, because of the leather, I do think it could be good for evening casual or in evening settings. But it's still light enough and bright enough to be perfect for the early mornings and afternoons of spring and summer. The nice thing about this fragrance too is it has really nice longevity on my skin. It lasts about six hours, which is saying something because generally fragrances like this last about four, which is really, really nice. Also, it tends to have a really beautiful sillage to it, wonderful projection, 
It projects a little bit longer than arm's length, but it's just so very gentle and pretty and sparkling and universal that this is something I think that you could wear pretty much wherever you're going. If you're going to class, if you're going to work, if you're going to the theater, if you're going out to hang out with friends or going on a date, I think this is one of those fragrances that is appropriate no matter where you go. Also, the few times I've worn this fragrance, I've gotten a lot of compliments when I've been out and about. So this is probably currently one of my most complimented fragrances. A lot of people seem to really enjoy it, which is why I don't understand why it's so underappreciated. But I guess this is one of those hidden gems you guys should just experience for yourself. As always, you go know my reviews are subjective, but I just wanted to share this one with you guys because I really enjoyed it so much. I think if you guys are looking for a very ultra-feminine, flirty, beautiful fragrance for spring or summer, definitely check out Donna from Valentino. I think Valentino has beautiful fragrances in general, and this one is no exception. So yeah, that's my review of Donna. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like this video, specifically my fragrance reviews and fragrance videos, remember to give this video a thumbs up. It lets me know to continue doing videos like this. And also don't forget to subscribe because it's free and I'm free. And I put out new videos every Monday through Friday and sometimes on the weekends as well. So I'll always have something for you to watch. In any case, I hope you guys are all happy and healthy and have a great day, month, year, whatever. And I'll see you next time. Bye.